To win Le Mans, you have to do the equivalent of an entire Formula One season in one day. It means nothing can be left to chance. It's a tremendously difficult job. It requires clear, precise decision making. We have over 100 people working to ensure the three Audis are perfectly prepared. We have to have total trust across the whole Audi team or we will not win. Now think of it from my position. I come into the pits, brake hard, pit stop. They change the wheels. The guy on the left front gets a wheel off, new wheel on, nut on, wheel gun. And within less than a minute, I'm on my way doing over 200 miles per hour. I have to trust he's done his job perfectly. My life is in his hands. When I'm driving the car, he's doing the equivalent of a gentle jog on the pedals. My heart rate is an average of about 140 beats per minute. When I come into the first chicane and brake hard, I press that brake pedal with about 80 kilos of force. When I'm steering through the corners, it's about four kilograms in each hand. At the same time, I'm going through 3G of lateral force. That means I've got to hold my breath to stop my lungs getting crushed to the side of my ribcage. Your head, with your helmet on, is about eight kilos. Now multiply that by 3G, that's 24 kilos. Now try this at home. Lie off the edge of your bed, get a laptop, it's about two kilograms, and then just sit and do this for a couple of minutes. Not the three and a half hours we're in the car. Three and a half hours of intensity, three and a half of concentration, over a three and a half minute lap with 50 other cars trying to beat the three Audis. Le Mans is a 24 hour race. It's all day, all night. It's aquaplaning down the streets or in beautiful 35 degrees of sunshine. You never stop until the checkered flag comes down at three o'clock on Sunday afternoon. One race, one day, one season, one winner.